My name is Dr. Joyce Yu. I'm an internal medicine physician. I'm just wondering, what are you eating these days? If you had this for breakfast, you had oatmeal, fruits, nuts, you had about nine grams of protein, 18 grams of fiber. And you can control the type of sweetener you want as well as the amount. If you grab something like this, Honey Nut Cheerios, because you want it lower cholesterol, let's look at the ingredients list. The ingredients are listed in the highest quantity to the least. Whole grain oats. That's been associated with lowering your LDL cholesterol. So that's good. But here we have sugar, honey, brown sugar syrup, and tripotassium phosphate. This is a chemical that we find frequently in baked foods as well as meats. It's a buffering agent and they use it to make the food taste better, look better, and also keep its shape. Other than just the oats, you're having some of the sugar and some chemicals that you may not want to be eating. If we grabbed a loaf of bread, what are you looking for on the label? Enriched, all natural, organic? Well, let's look at the list. On this bread, it's made up of enriched wheat flour. What we want to be looking for is whole wheat flour. Whole wheat is made up of the endosperm, which is the center starchy uh, core. Then you have the germ and bran layer. And that's where most of the fiber and nutrients are. In the processing to make wheat flour, the wheat, the germ, and the bran is removed. And so to enrich that flour, you'll be adding some of these minerals and vitamins back into the flour. Now, if you want it organic and you do not see this USDA organic seal, you're probably not getting a full organic product. So let's compare that list from that bread we just saw with a whole wheat bread. When we're looking at the whole wheat bread ingredients, it's made up of whole wheat flour. So when we're looking at dietary fiber, we have more fiber in the whole wheat bread. We have more protein. Now in 2016, the FDA decided to update their nutrition facts label to help the consumer. They made the serving sizes larger and bolder. They made the calories also larger. They updated the daily values as well as adding vitamin D and potassium to the nutrients required on the label. One other thing that's been really helpful for consumers is under the total sugars, they've added added sugars. And most of the sugars in that line have been added during the processing. So what can you learn from reading the food label? You can learn about the number of servings in a container the actual size of the serving, as well as the calories of that serving. You could see the types of fat. Unsaturated fats are seen in higher concentrations in plant-based foods, as well as fish or seafoods. And this is the type of fats we want to be eating more of. The saturated fats are seen in animal products. Uh, and these are associated with cardiovascular disease. And we want to be limiting this. The trans fats are seen in convenience food, fast foods, and packaged foods. And this is what we want to avoid. On the nutrition facts label, you'll see sodium listed as well. And why is this important? Because if you have high blood pressure, you want to be limiting your sodium intake in a day to 1,500 milligrams. The dietary guidelines for Americans, if you do not have high blood pressure, is to keep it under 2,300 milligrams per day, which is about a teaspoon of salt a day. Now, there's also the carbohydrates. Just like fats, 
There are carbohydrates that are more desirable, which are the complex carbohydrates found in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and they also contain fiber, which helps maintain our blood sugars in a more steady state. In a diabetic, you want to be limiting the amount of carbohydrates you're taking in. And for that reason, it's more important for them to be having the complex carbohydrate rather than the simple carbohydrates, the refined sugars. Protein is the building block for our body and we need to be eating adequate amounts of protein. So what is the amount of protein that our body needs in a day? There's a simple formula here on the monitor. You can take your weight in pounds and multiply that by 0.36 to get the grams of protein you would need in a day. So if you're a 150 pound person and you use that formula, you would need about 54 grams of protein in a day. The average American adult consumes about 100 grams of protein. So we are not protein deficient. Even a plant-based uh, vegan person eating a plant-based food in America consumes about 60 grams of protein. Fiber, this is also very good for us. The recommendation is to have 25 to 35 grams of fiber per day. But what we're actually taking in is only about 15 grams. Now, if you remember that breakfast we had with the oatmeal and the fruits, you would have had already 18 grams of fiber just from that meal. The added sugar is mostly the simple carbohydrates or the processed refined sugars, which we want to limit in our diet and especially important for the diabetics. And you could see that in the added sugar line here. So why are manufacturers adding sugars to our processed foods? Well, first it's for taste. And second, it's also used in preserving their food item. So the sugar that's listed in the ingredients list could have lots of different names. As we saw in our Cheerios box, sugar was one of three that was listed. In this product here, there's even more. There are some names that you're familiar with and there's others that might be less familiar, like dextran, fructose, or maltodextran. These are just a few. And these are what you would see in that added sugar line. So what type of food is best? Whole food would be best. It's made out of the complex carbohydrates you want to be eating. It has the unsaturated fats, as well as a lot of fiber that you need in your diet. But when you do grab that package, whether it's the can or the box, don't be fooled by the claims on the front. Study that ingredient list. Watch for the serving size. Take a note of the types of carbohydrate in that product because the type is more important than the amount. And this is especially so in the types of fat. So eat real food. You are what you eat. So don't grab for that fast food, cheap food, easy food, or fake food. Next time you grab a product, check out the ingredients list and look at the nutritional facts. Thank you for watching.